Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5063709 because of this error code that is 0x800700D or 0x800703FA. So if you're receiving one of these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to uninstall anti-cheat software. Like if you have face it anti-cheat or any third party anti-cheat installed in your computer, you can uninstall it. So if it is running uh, here in my case, here you can see face it anti-cheat, you can quit it and then you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then click on uninstall a program over here and if you have any face it any anti-cheat program you can uninstall it uninstall Now the one once the uninstall is complete restart you can be restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can try to update your windows 10 and then check still not working the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this open windows settings and go to system option and then our system go to home and then go to update and security and then you will see troubleshoot option click on troubleshoot now click on additional troubleshooters here click on windows update and then click on run the troubleshoot and once the troubleshoot is complete now you can update your windows 10 and then check still not working start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services find app readiness make a double click on add app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then uh, it's telling me to restart my computer the troubleshooter if it's, if it tells you to restart you can be restarting computer so set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and then make a right click and then click on restart now find windows update scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart now you can try to update your windows 10 and then check still not working the next step is to pause and restart the update so go to windows update and security and then over here you will see pause option so you can click on pause and then once you pause now you can click on resume updates and now you can check still not working the next step is to use windows update windows 10 update assistant now for this open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description here you can see update now option click on update now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow if there is any update you will see update now or install now option once done now restart you can be ready and then check still not working the next step is to run these two commands these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and let the scan complete once the scan is 100 percent complete run the second scan so copy the copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key once the second scan is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website write down the name of the update and that is kb5063709 and paste it over here you can write down the name of the update and then click on search now over here uh, you have to find the uh, right version over here so first of all check which version you have winver -win -win in windows search box click on winver and over here uh, you can see in my case it's version 22h2 so first of all we will check for 22h2 here you can see windows 10 version 22h2 x64 based system now i have to find 
uh, you have to find what kind of system you have so you can go to uh, windows settings and then go to system and then go to about option and here you should be able to see here in my case it's a 64 bit here you can see 64 bit so for me it's a, a windows 11 a cumulative update for windows 10 version 2 to h2 x64 based system so this is the right one for me so you can click on download so you can select your update as per your system and then click on this file and then once the download is complete uh, you can click on this file and you can install just follow the on screen instruction install this update manually and then once done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use media creation tool so if nothing is working uh, copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now here you can see uh, media creation tool so you have to download this download tool now and then once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file when you run this exe file uh, you will see this screen so click on accept over here and then by default upgrade this pc now will be selected so make sure this is checked and then click on next and then it will take some time let the download complete once done you will see accept option hit accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation uh, log into your computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully and you should not receive these errors so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel